Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today we're going to take a look at um, a page here that's got an order form on it. And let me just open up this order form real quickly here and set this to one step. And uh, what you're going to notice right away um, is that this is the legacy version of the checkout. And we don't want to be using that. And I'll show you where it gives you an actual warning to let you know this. Now, again, this is November of 2023, and ClickFunnels just made some major updates. Uh, along with Funnel Hacking Live, one of which being the um, checkout element itself. So let's just bounce out of here by clicking the arrow here in the upper left-hand corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into this very first page right here, and we're going to see this warning message. And it says, this page is using the legacy checkout component. Use the new checkout component instead. So it's really nice. It not only does it know there's a checkout element on the page, it's telling you that it's the old one, go in there, change it out, put in the new one. But also from this page right here is where we can add in the products that we want on each one of the pages. So we just click on this. Now, of course, you had to have already set up your product somewhere else. But what's really nice, obviously, in 2.0 is you can add in as many products as you want to the system. You can put a whole bunch of products in there, and then you can use them on different pages. You can use them on multiple pages. You could use them on 20 pages if you want and in all kinds of different variations and, and however you want to do that. But let's take a look here and we're just going to say, let's come over here. We already have some existing products on the page. And so apparently uh, we can grab a hold of this and move it around if we had uh, more than one on the page. Uh, but we can also click on the gear and we can do a title override, a description override, and then we can check all these here and we got availability and prices. So we got product is an order bump, so you can set it as an order bump, allow contacts to upgrade existing orders, and allow contacts to downgrade existing orders. So you can do all those settings right in here. You can also decide which one of the availability and prices it says right here which one of these items down here at the bottom you want to show as well and I'll show you a better example of that here in a minute then if you clicked and said it was an order bump then it puts it down here at the bottom and again we'll click on the gear we can do the override, uh, product is an order bump, so that stays checked, and we can do the uh, bump pre-headline, and again, check those two boxes, and we can uh, check this down here. Now, if you only have one item down here, I'm pretty sure, <coughs> excuse me, I'm pretty sure you have to have it checked in order for this to actually appear on the screen, so just make sure you have that done. So now, let's actually just delete out these two here, and we got uh, checkout settings, products, quality type we got single product multiple product with quantity multiple product with checkbox and then the bump same thing you can do on a bump even now multiple product with quantity multiple product with checkbox right there click on the update but now let's go in here and we're going to say we want to add a product and what I'm looking for here in particular is this Voomly product right there and in fact let me add a second product because I just want to test something here let's just add in this as a second product as well because I was like I think we can switch the order of these I think we can drag these around I could be wrong. Okay, oop, is it moving? Uh, oop, there we go. Did it switch? There you go, switch the order right there. So you can move them around a little bit. But what I wanted to show you in particular, because I knew that in this Voomly one, I had a lot of different variants in there. And you saw that in one of my earlier videos. And so what we can say is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna say, okay, what we want on this page here is we want to show these different variants. So we wanna show the basic and the cloud variant on this page. Because again, you can use this product in different places. So in some places you might wanna show the basic and the cloud, and another one you might want to show basic and pro without the cloud or whatever combination you want to do and you just pick that from right here and then that's what will show onto the page so let's bounce back out of there and again you get a good idea of what this is about and um, that's it for this video so if you got any questions just let me know